So after COVID hit uh, spring of last year, we realized that we're going to be working more remotely and I was spending more time in my home office here as opposed to an office with a lot of other people. So try to make the setup as comfortable as possible, especially if you're doing a lot of tasks long term or we even have like public virtual meetings now online. So you have the camera set up and a lot of times it's better for me just to actually have a standing option. So this is really come in handy where I can just you know, pull this up, just push the chair back a little bit, just kind of do work this way and it's kind of nice. So I'm in charge of U.S. operations from West Coast to East Coast. I have anywhere from about 15 to 20 active skate park projects. At least half of my job is education, educating people on the skate parks or how to advocate for a skate park or what goes into it. We started this brand called the Motif brand. Just keeping it really simple. Uh, me and Brandon Turner have been working on kind of like a hardware sort of accessory brand. And it's called Live and Proof. It's just another outlet uh, to really talk about kind of something that means something to me and him and growing up and not really having a lot. My name is Canton Russell and this is a day in my life. Did Steve Caballero ruin it when he had his uh, skate shoes and non-skate shoes? Dude, it's like a PA system on his back. We're here at the entry at the Ocean Beach Skate Park and Rob, you know, Rob Field Skate Park here in Ocean Beach, uh, more fondly referred to as Shockus Park. Um, I was the kid advocating for this skate park uh, for nine years, starting when I was like 15 years old until I basically became a pro skateboarder and was able to have meetings with input for the design of this skate park with Mike McIntyre. He tapped me and Andy McDonald to give some feedback on kind of a balance of street and tranny kind of stuff. So this actually still is one of the biggest parks in San Diego. It just was the first one. So, you know, being done in the early 2000s, it, uh, it still works. It just needs to get redone with all the shotcrete and maybe some better stuff on the edges of the park and on the deck. A lot of people, they don't care about the condition, the surface, roughness, whatever. Like some people who consider this like a home park, they just adapt. Skateboarding is about adapting, right? So like it doesn't matter what it is, they just learn how to ride it and they like it. And sometimes they don't want you to change it. I'll give you a heads up, a status on if when that's happening, hopefully by Thursday. And then if it's it's good, then we can send it to you on Friday. And if not, it'll probably be like early the following week, I'm, I'm hoping. Okay. Okay. All right, we'll hold you to it. Okay, thanks, right, Lori. Thanks so much. Bye. All right, take care. Bye. All day, every day. What's up, Zach? I was going to ask you about that post you made today because I really want to focus on people talking about skate park advocacy. Even if, like, for instance, he's talking about this Encanto project, which is in San Diego, there's a good chance we may not work on that project, but at least we're giving him the information to advocate and get the skate park in. And if there are 10 skate parks that are done in Southern California over the next five years, maybe we're lucky to work on two or three of them. That's great. Cool thing about this office is that right out in the parking lot, there's some sick red curbs. Perfect time to unwind, pull off some steam, have a little bit of fun. Yeah. 
extra large, bro. Anything. We out here. Poods, baby. And to need it. I appreciate you. We're promoting you. for a Spring Valley State Park. Hell oh, yeah, bro. I'll put on right now. Okay. Yeah, they need that's, state that's the love. Yeah. That's the love we need. I appreciate yeah. Christian. So is he, he's yeah. one of the designers who built Poods. Oh, yeah. Great job, man. Great job. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, man. man. Yeah, yeah. Thank you guys you want some buttons? Yeah. Just promoting the, the project, you know? Yeah. Ice cream printed them last night. Phantom Black. Keep it subtle. Thanks for following me around for the day. Uh, glad everyone got to see a little bit about what we do. That's a wrap.